everyone and welcome back to the Armstead Family YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be flying solo because this is an area that is my expertise. My husband just kind of lets me do what I want in this category. So we're going to talk about paper clutter. But it's only right that I give you guys a bump date. So let me move this for a second. So back up. I am five months pregnant with baby boy. This is my third child. I have a girl and a boy. This is my third and it's a boy. His name is Legend. For those of you who don't know me or if this is your first video that you're tuning into, I am due October of 2020. So that's my little bump date. I feel like it's only right. And when I wear this shirt, I feel like I always update you guys for some reason. So it felt right. So anyways, we're gonna talk about eliminating paper clutter once and for all. If you're like me, once upon a time, I had paper clutter everywhere. Like it was just overwhelming and I felt like I needed to come up with a system because I just could not deal with it anymore. So I decided to figure out how to eliminate the clutter I already had, but also keep it from getting back to the way it was. So that's what I'm gonna teach you guys. So I have quite a few papers that I've gotten in the mail in the last couple of weeks and I kept them because I wanted to show you some simple and easy tricks on how you can stop getting this much paper clutter. So before I go into that, I want to tell you about the system that I already have in place. So I wish I could be decluttering with you guys, but I've already done that. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when you are down to just the bare minimum of what you actually need to keep. And if you are enjoying this video, please just take a second to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time we post a video. All right, let's get into it. So here is my binder. Um, it's just a simple binder that my husband had and I repurposed it. I used to have an accordion kind of like um, file folder and I just felt like when I would put things into certain categories, it would still take me a while to find what I needed, especially if it was something smaller like a social security card. Anyways, I found a new way to do that, but I will show you. So I have this binder and we have clear sleeves inside. I only keep things that I absolutely must keep or that I absolutely want to keep which means like I have a handwritten letter that my husband sent me and I have a handwritten letter that I gave him. So I kept those, maybe we will scan them and put them on a drive one day, but for now I still have them. There are a few things in here that we don't absolutely have to keep, but we just haven't been able to scan them and put them in our drive. So they're here. So for example, like first page right here, as you can see, I have my college degree. So we have, between the two of us, we have quite a few degrees from high school to college to certifications. The first eight pages are like degrees and certifications. We held on to those, but we really don't need to. We could definitely scan those into the computer and save them because you don't actually need, you can correct me if I'm wrong if you've ever been asked for it, but I've never been asked for an original copy of my diploma. We really don't need that. So we could technically scan those into the computer and let them go. These were originally in a sleeve. They weren't really on display, but they were there, like on the bookshelf. I just decided, you know what? I don't need this little case that holds this degree. I don't need it displayed. Let's just get rid of that and let's just put it in here under important documents. So it takes up so much less space. Other documents that I have, which obviously I'm on camera, so I can't flip to every single thing. There are some confidential things in here, but I will tell you right now that I'm looking at my birth certificate. That is something that is not easy to get a copy of. And there are times where you need, you want to have the, the original or the physical, like you don't need the original, but you need a physical. And that's not something that I want to like scan in and just have it there. Like I'd rather have the copy here. I actually still have my original birth certificate guys. Crazy, right? Yeah. Um, so you want that and the old birth certificates tell you your parents' ages. So when I was born, my dad was 22 and my mom was 27. That's no longer on the birth certificates. Anyways, moving on. I also have our social security cards. I have the titles to both of our cars and I have tax information for the last two years. I know some people keep it for longer than that, but we have all of those things digital, so I don't. Do your research and keep it if you need to. Uh, ask a professional, I'm not. I just, this is just what I do. Another thing that we have here is our lease. Like we have a physical copy of the lease here and that's something that's also electronic. So I don't technically need it, 
but I kept it here because I created a whole folder of everything that required to move in here, including deposit slips and everything like that. Because when we move out, I like to have everything just very organized. Like here it is, this is that. And if there's ever any kind of dispute, I have everything just collected already. Like I don't wanna to have to go through looking for documents. So I have that here. And then when it comes to warranty, I kept only one warranty and that was for my wedding ring. I could technically get a new one if I were to lose it or something. I don't need it to be original, but every time you go, so it's every six months, you have to get it signed. So they want you to bring it back in and that has like a code on it. And we've had issues where they can't find our name in the system and that paper has saved us. So that's something that I do keep. Other than that, I have nothing else that's not important. I don't have manuals. I don't feel like in 2020, we actually need those. Most things can be found on Google. So before you start decluttering all of your papers, just do a quick Google search and see if what you're gonna get rid of is accessible online. If it's not, then maybe you can make copies of the things that you actually need from it. So if that's something that you do, regardless of what paper it is, if you refer to it often, then keep it. But if you don't, then consider getting rid of it because all of those things accumulate. And I feel like we're in just such a digital time that it's, it's really hard to, to not be able to find something. So that is what I keep in here. I feel like this is very important to have all of your papers in one spot. First of all, I know people have like filing cabinets and things like that, but for me, an important document binder means a lot because in the event that something happens, like we have hurricanes here, or you know, if this place catches on fire, I mean, as long as everyone's safe and we're able to get out, I can grab this. I know where it is at all times, and if I can safely grab it from the house, then I will. So that's something that makes it more appealing to me to have it in binder form. So it's just something that you can think about because the majority of important documents will fit in a, a binder smaller than this. So this is a big binder, but we could definitely fit everything into a smaller one because even some of these documents that I consider to be important, we could actually have them on our drive. And then if we needed them, we could print them from there. I mean, we don't have a printer or a scanner here. So unfortunately, if we wanted to do something like that, we'd have to go somewhere to do it. So it's not always like on my priority list when it's organized like this, but it's something that I'll probably get to in the future. But let me know in the comments what documents you keep that you feel are very important. One I forgot to mention is I did keep my marriage license as well. And that's something that I could also scan into the computer. There are very few things that we actually need a physical copy of. So I just wanna stress that because we tend to hold on to things so long when we really don't have to. And we think, what if I need that? What if I need that? Chances are, if you haven't needed it, you probably won't, but you always have that backup of sending it to your drive. So you have it digital if you need it and you can just print it off. So enough with this of how we already have it organized. Now I wanna to talk to you about how to keep your home paper clutter free. So I'm gonna get straight into the mail that we recently got. Some of this stuff has our address on it, so I won't be showing it straight to the camera, but I will be telling you what it is. So the first one we have is a letter that was sent out from my husband's insurance company. And it's basically saying, let us know if there's anything that we can do for you during this time, which is during quarantine. It's just a letter that I guess they sent to everyone and it has the email address and um, a phone number. This is not something that we need to hold on to. So I immediately know that this can just be tossed. So I know that we don't need to keep this. This is just like a one time thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the pile over here as junk. Um, the next letter we received, we constantly receive credit card offers. We never accept them. So I already know automatically that this is gonna go in the garbage pile. One thing to keep in mind is I've already looked into some of these but there are lots of these companies that will send you letters or magazines or coupons. You can actually get off of their mailing list. So that would make things so easy because you actually just will stop receiving these things. So that brings me to my next letter. We get our water bill in the mail. This is kind of new to us because we've only been living here for a few months, but we've been getting this in the mail until we figured out how to do the whole online thing with this company. It says right on the back, go green. So it tells you the website and you can actually just go online and go paperless. It actually is better for us and better for them. Like they save money, we save the planet and we don't have to deal with the paper clutter. So I wanted to bring this up because a lot of companies, you can go onto their website and you can actually get off of their mailing list. The same way you unsubscribe from emails, you can do this. 
Like you can go online, even if they don't have the option online, you can call and say, hey, I wanna be removed from your mailing list. I've done it a few times and it's worked. Okay, so this is another one of those confidential ones, meaning it has like our address and things on it. But it, this is health insurance. So they send us this every month. I've actually tried to go paperless with this company at least three times. And every time I'm told that I am, and then I'm not. So I get their emails and I also get their mail. So this is just something where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick my battles. I'm not gonna waste my time and call again. So this goes to the trash. Obviously something with important information, you wanna make sure you don't just throw it in the trash. You want to properly shred it or do whatever you need to do. But if I'm really desperate, I would just like soak it for a while and then just like rip it up. Yes, and that works. And I don't have to keep a paper shredder in my house. Next up, bills. So obviously you wanna handle bills as quickly as possible. So most bills like this one, you pay online. So if you can pay online, you're gonna get a receipt to your email. You're also gonna see the payment on your bank account. So there's really no reason to hold on to a paper bill. I know some people like to just say organize, they like to show paid, but I can always put a confirmation in my planner or anywhere else to just know that that was already paid, but an email is good enough. So this is something where I've actually already paid it, but I kept it to show you guys or to talk about it. But this is something where you pay it, you see if you can go paperless, and then you let it go. So last paper I wanna talk about is just something random that's addressed to me from the manufacturer of my car. So they're constantly trying to upgrade me or ask if I want extended warranty and things like that. So these types of papers I look at, if I don't need it or I don't want it, I will toss the paper. So those are the few, so those are the types of things that I'm constantly receiving here at my house. The majority of them, I can go green. Some of them I can just get off their mailing list because sometimes they're just addressed to the resident and I don't even want those in my email. So obviously I would just get off of the list. And then there's some things where you just have to pick your battle. And if you know that you can't get off of the list because you've tried, that's when I would say, just toss it, make sure you properly shred whatever you need to, and then move on. You don't want to overcomplicate this area. Anything that you get, try to handle it as quickly as possible because if it ends up in a junk drawer, you might even just forget it's there. Um, if it's a bill, you wanna make sure you handle it as quickly as possible. You know that we also talk about being debt free. You don't want to miss a payment or forget that you have to do that. So just remember that most mail is junk and a lot of the things that you receive can be accessed online. I know that if most of you had the opportunity, you'd probably just wanna throw all of it away. Just go through it once and for all. Do it in you know stages, maybe you do one pile a day until it's all gone, but you're gonna feel so much better when it's gone because paper clutter is the worst. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you today that there is a way to stop having to deal with it. And we all go through it because we all still receive papers in the mail, but it doesn't have to accumulate like it used to. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.